What's going on everyone? Bipolar Gamers here. Welcome to your channel. I hope everybody is having a amazing day. Getting into today's video, we're going to be talking about the PS5 reveal and what Rockstar Games announced at the reveal. They announced that GTA 5 will be coming to the PlayStation 5. You heard that right. Yet again, the GTA 5 platform is prevailing and it is moving on to the next generation of consoles. This is like it moved on from Xbox 360 and PS3 when it came over to the Xbox One and the PS4. Hopefully when they move it over here this time, the, they're going to do something completely different and new. Some of the stuff I heard about it is that on the PS5, as long as you have PlayStation Plus, you will be getting free cash in GTA Online every month until the release of GTA 5 on the PS5. And I'm assuming that this will be the same with the uh, Xbox 2 or whatever the Xbox is going to be called. Forgive me if I got that wrong. I don't really keep up too much with uh, social media. That's and uh, stuff like that I was talking about consoles but some of the other stuff that they announced also besides the free money is that everybody that owns a PlayStation 5 will be getting GTA online free at launch in 2021 so I'm assuming by GTA online it's just going to be GTA online only you will not be getting like uh, the hard copy or story mode copy of GTA 5 so that sucks in a way but maybe they'll add something to it or you might get bonus story mode it'd be really nice if they actually done something with story mode and as far as what I think they are going to change with GTA 5 on PS5 it's probably nothing they might come in here and add some more graphics because the uh, graphics of the next generation consoles should be able to support all the way up to like 8k I don't see why they wouldn't be able to support that. Or maybe even higher, which that would be pretty cool. But pretty much to get your free one mil in GTA cash every month, as this article says, all you gotta do is just be a PlayStation Plus member. It's and apparently it's going to be launching near the end of twenty twenty one. You'll be able to get GTA online on the PS five. So that means the PS five should be coming out middle of the year maybe towards the end of the year guys just somewhere around there and for you Xbox guys don't worry I'm pretty confident Microsoft ain't gonna do anybody dirty and they'll get in and they'll get in on whatever is going on like the PlayStation deal right now where you get the uh, free money and the free copy because Microsoft already announced that they will no longer be like making people pay for games they've already bought once just to play it on the next consoles because uh, that's what PlayStation done a while and I think it's a little shady of Rockstar when GTA 5 came out on the PS4 when it was only out on like the last generation consoles for like one and a half years if that I believe I could be wrong I'm pretty sure it's about a year and a half if it was out they well they made them pay sixty dollars and get it again and GTA 5 was $60 all the way up until like the beginning of 2019 and they finally dropped the price on it which don't get me wrong last year like a hundred not a hundred million but 28 million people bought GTA 5 last year so it's still a very popular game I don't see how that many people still haven't played it or want to play it but pretty much what this means also is that this is almost a guarantee that GTA 6 is going to be pushed on later on into like the decade I would say so maybe it won't even come out until 2023, 2026 I'm not for sure I mean I'm not Mr. Boss for the win I ain't gonna sit here and say it came out like 2021, 2022 or all those weeks because nobody really knows when GTA 6 is coming out the only thing anybody really knows is that it's an early development and if they're willing to put GTA Online on the PS5, then that's pretty much a confirmation right there, guys, that it's not coming out anytime soon in the next two, three, four years. I can promise you that. 
But I guess that's pretty much just going to be it for today's video. I just wanted to get that out there for you guys. This is a lot different than the normal content. But if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And comment down below what you think Rockstar should change on PS5 for GTA Online. I'd love to hear some opinions because I like reading over the comments and like some ideals and like some new stuff they should do. I personally, I think they shouldn't go ahead and like extend story mode add story mode dlcs maybe finish the big building that's in the middle of the city up there and over here there's mining shafts and stuff like that maybe you add like a mining dlc or a capability to mine and, and drill oil and um like businesses like that and stuff like this it's in the state of california so you should be able to like mine gold and stuff this is old mine shafts here they've never done anything with but I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. I hope everybody has a great day. Peace out.